Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Rena Wells and I'm here to do your reading with third party energies, karmic energies in the twin flame journey. Um, there's a lot of movement in energies because if you watch the video before this for the collective for the weekly energies, it's a lot of stuff that's coming through. So um, we're going to take a look as this karmic, what I'm picking up is manipulative, is trying to play the twin flame card with the masculine. The twin flame knows about in this situation, knows about you divine feminine. This is because a lot of, if you've noticed, a lot of the readings have been about union energies in the air, God really trying to push this together. And what is happening here with the twins is this, um, so I'm just fixing this uh, table here. The, what's happening here with the karmic energies is that uh, they're really um, trying to pretend like they're the divine feminine and they're not. So they're playing in goddess energy, like Isis energy. I'm just gonna say Isis is not a true divine feminine. She's like Lilith, okay? Um, because when the sun god Ra created the earth, there was another goddess that was first created with in tandem with the sun god Ra and it was not Isis came after. So. Um, I'm all about going right back to the root. Sorry, the beautiful wind is coming in. Um, I'm all about, uh, you know, going right back to the root of everything, going back to um, the true divinity of everything. And um, it's not uh, Greek gods or Egyptian gods. There's been a lot of corruption for eons. So I'm going to first pull in the real sacred feminine energy that's coming in. These are, I love this deck because it deals with women. Um, Lilith is in here. But you have to also know your discernment of when you're working in this, these different frequencies, because I believe it's truly best to go right to the get go. Mother Earth, Father God, Son God, Ra. Um, I don't work with anybody else because uh, some people are pulled to work with others. That's fine. But what I'm getting with these karmics is that they're dealing with dark magic. They don't know what the hell they're doing. And they're trying to claim union on this connection. And they're doing dark magic. There's a card in here that I feel is coming out. I'm just feeling so much fire. So you guys are going to hear it. <coughs> um, the blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation, and integration. Okay, so this is what's happening for the twins. And the karmic energy is not liking it, okay? Um, spontaneous awakening. Your masculine either spontaneously awoke and they're not liking it. So let's see what energy. This is the feminine energy they're manipulating, okay? Let's see. What is this uh, karmic energy manipulating? It's narcissistic energy. Um, it's psychologically damage, damaging. Um, they have no idea really what they're doing here. We have two that wanted to come out. Okay. So they're acting like the queen of heaven and earth. Inanna, the queen of heaven and earth. I have nothing to hide. I see and accept all that I am. So this is the fake mask that they're working on. This is, and this is what I'm saying about karmic energy. They fake it. They fake it until they make it. And there's nothing wrong with doing that. But with them being unable to let go of this connection, this is what they're pretending. This is their manipulation tactic. Thank you, Spirit. This is how they're manipulating the masculine energy. Okay. This is the, the, uh, work that masculine energy had to come into to realize how feminines actually uh, manipulate, which means they had to heal their mother wounds because some of these men were mama's, mama's boys is what I'm getting. And they had to really realize the darkness that's in their own mothers as well. And we have to do that. We have to look at the darkness that's attached to our parents as well and to transcend that and not to, and to do things completely different. Um, so this is the karmic saying, I see and accept everybody. I accept you. I accept this path. I accept the divine feminine. I don't know why she's so mean to me. I don't know why. And this is what I'm hearing. I don't know why that she, do you see? Like, I'm just accepting everything. I'm acting like this sacred nun. I'm a holy figure. Like, give me a friggin' break. I'm kind. I'm nice. Everything happens to me. That's victim mentality. Remember, guys, if you see victim mentality, if you see people playing the poor me, uh-uh, that's a demon. <laughs> that's codependency because truly strong warrior women don't play the victim they take responsibility and they call out truth exactly like it is and they're like no this is how it is you don't want to hear the truth because you're uncomfortable then that's not really my problem um they speak it unapologetically all right and this is the patroness of impossible causes i am miraculous my prayers create powerful channels of possibility so i don't know who they're praying to but they're acting like this holy holy person because i'm gonna pull spirit is pulling me to pull the dark shadow card on top of each one all right and these goddesses are amazing right if you're connecting from an intention of light and love 
but they're not they're manipulative so they just want whatever this masculine can give because remember masculine are just as powerful as their divine twin they're feminine and um however they've manifested things i mean this karmic wants it so what is this karmic third party energy please for this week uh spirit for the collective what is going on with them acting like but i'm open i'm the queen of heaven i have nothing to hide oh i can't even Okay, so what are they saying in regards to the spirit? I have nothing to hide to the masculine. This is what they're saying. I have nothing to hide. I'm queen of my world because they're addicted. This is exactly what I'm saying. Now, I want you to look at the synchronicities here. This woman looks like she's acting like this in the red. See, the spirit told me to pull this. I am the queen of my world. I'm just manifesting like this. I'm bridging heaven and earth. I have nothing to hide. I'm not manip I'm fully illuminated, is what they're saying. <laughs> Give me a break. Blech. Make me want to purge. I want to purge so bad right now. It makes me feel like I'm drinking ayahuasca. It's like, is this not more disgusting? I can't even. It is so disgusting. It's the most distorted feminine energy I've ever felt. It's like that, that superficiality. I am the queen of my world. Look at me. I'm so beautiful. And um, I have nothing to hide. I accept everything. But you know what spirit is saying? You know what spirit is saying this is? Look at this. It's addiction. This is what it really looks. This is what the karmics really look like. Look at that face. The victim. How dare you? This is martyrism right here. This is a huge cycle that many um, distorted feminines play in. I'm the righteous one. I have family members that play in this a lot. I give to the poor. I help people. I'm such a good person. Why do bad things always happen to me? I'm such a good person. I'm doing everything right. Why has this happened to me? They create this martyrism and it's an identity. It's also bipolar disorder. Some of them may have bipolar. And, um, and there's nothing wrong. Mental illness is a coping mechanism for your highly sensitive ways. You have to learn how to break and heal those things, okay? Um, and so this is the psychology that I'm feeling with this uh, karmic energy towards the masculine is like, I'm doing everything right. And look, at bad always happens to me because I'm the victim. That's the energy they plan because they have a demon attached to them, like, and they're playing in the dark. So they may be trying really hard, but nothing ever happens for them because they haven't evolved yet so what about this holy i can't even with this card and she even looks psychotic okay <laughs> sorry do you see the face look at me it's like <laughs> it's like i hear the demon look at me i'm good i'm good <laughs> and what is this darkness i can't with this karmic energy guys i'm sorry i'm gonna have to like laugh at it because it's absolutely disgusting we have two cards out as well look at this it's the same thing I am alone in the world. I'm naked. I'm being raw and authentic. It goes very much to this. Can't make this shit up, guys. This is exactly how it's coming up. I'm this holy person. I'm in my sink. Look at the arc, okay? Look at the arch. Arches here, okay? See the synchronicities? I'm in my divine. I'm, I'm just being who I am. I'm, my prayer is great, powerful chant. I'm praying to a demon, maybe. I don't know who you're praying to because look at this. This is because they are completely obsessed. That's the addiction. That's the addiction right there. They are addicted to this masculine. They are addicted. They just have addiction types of behaviors and addiction. And uh, codependency can run in all kinds of different circles. Um, you can be addicted to sex, drugs, uh, food, uh, the way you look, anything. You can be, it's a, it's a mind pattern. Um, they are obsessed, obsessed with this masculine energy wow guys now let's see how they are feeling is that what we're gonna do no spirit's pulling me to the kipper deck <clears throat> let's see what's going on with them towards the divine masculine right that's the energy that they're holding right now so let's see <sighs> this is really manipulative energy it is the light mimicking the dark okay and this is because they can't handle these energies. This was in the deck. I didn't even know it was in the deck that there's an activation and integration coming for the twins. And this is why they're acting like these fake holy people. <laughs> the dark always likes to mimic the light. They're tricksters. So, um, but this is what they're doing. This is the addiction and this is the truth of who they really are. Okay. 
there's not a lot of enlightenment here there's complete darkness there's thorns all over this this person's mind they're sick these karmics have mental problems okay and i get it i get the psychology <clears throat> piece you know you have to work really hard to move out of this type of um, energy and look they continuous like this demon I, I mean i know they don't feel good but do your damn work move on they're trying to keep the masculine here all right by manipulating the situation we're going to see the masculine's um response but let's see what is the karmic energy doing towards the masculine right now what are they doing they sure are playing like they're some freaking holy jesus christ i don't know mary magdalene stuff but they're not it what are they doing in the mind towards the masculine right now spirit what are the karmic energies doing to the mind of the mouth in the mind of the masculine about love what about love let's get another one because i know that i pulled that one out yeah there's a decision happening about the relationship okay there is the courthouse with the lovers okay so there's definitely a um a decision that's being made so they're trying to act all friggin pure and beautiful what's going on in their heart space towards the masculine in this entire situation we have two as well they're in despair because they're about to lose their community okay they're about to lose their friends their tribe they thought that whatever tribe the masculine was connected to was their tribe no it's not you don't get to meet your soul family until you reach a high frequency of awakening and you're not that karmic you're not that go away <laughs> what is their action towards how are they manipulating the masculine right now spirit in their actions how are they manipulating the masculine right now these karmic energies to hang on they keep getting two so it's good yeah there there's a jury out right now okay god's handling it i feel like they don't have um anything right now to hang on to they're just trying to act like these holy people but what's underneath are these demons this addiction and this obsession they may also be trying to seduce you know like look at these two cards queen of my world and um alone in the world it's a victim mentality too i'm trying to be raw and open and vulnerable and i'm trying to create my world but it's not working because they haven't actually grieved or gone into their pain they don't know how to grieve they just blame everything on anybody else instead of actually looking at their accountability. And that's the thing. Everything starts from intention. And they need to look at when they started this with the cart with the with the divine masculine, their intentions were for themselves. Because if it was for their if it was for the better of everybody, it wouldn't be so painful. Right? And it would have probably ended by now. But this is like, look at this, a jurisdiction. God is coming in about the wealth. There's something about this wealth that they want, that they've manipulated. I'm seeing, oh, the storm is coming, guys certain terrain there is a manipulation about wealth they want money i want to clarify that wealth what is it that they want these karmics want money from this wealthy man okay there's a decision happening with the divine feminine with this wealthy man and they want a piece of it they don't want um they're trying to take something over what is that karma trying to do with that wealth they want the house some property or something so they don't want it to go to this divine feminine when this masculine comes towards this feminine and um, they're trying to manipulate the money because he's wealthy they see his wealth and they want it they want it all that's how karmics work they're psychologically damaging what is the outcome here that the karmic is trying to manipulate the situation what did i tell you they're mentally ill they're a thief they've stolen something okay so they're really playing it hard right now they may be stealing this house they may have signed something not knowing the masculine uh behind the masculine's back um and they're acting all innocent and sweet oh my god i seriously want to throw up i seriously want to throw up okay um they're trying to play like oh my god i know narcissistic energy i, I grew up with a sibling who's completely narcissistic like they act so like they're frigging god's gift and they do everything right everything nothing i do is wrong yeah sorry about it um because when when you're not when you're a narcissist you can't admit that you're wrong right people like us who are empathic we will or we're willing to admit our wrongdoings that's why we get stuck we always take the fall we always take the fall for everybody else and it comes a point to my families you gotta just stop doing that this karmic energy is doing that right now she's playing the victim and martyr role it's a psychological loop that narcissists play in and they pretend that they're so good because they're so victimized that they become obsessive let's see what else they're trying to do to manipulate this energy with the masculine 
They're playing like they're freaking like Mother Teresa here. I can't guys with this fire. It's intense. Let's see. I would love to hear your comments on this, you guys. What are they doing with this decision about the relationship? How are the karmics feeling in regards to this relationship right now? Oh, yeah. They're mad as frig. Uh, <laughs> they feel it's stabbing them in the back when they don't realize it's them. It's them and their psychological distortion, okay? Um they feel betrayed oh my god well you know what when you betray a holy matrimony like that you can't get away with that all right what's going on with their despair because they're about to lose everything they feel it they feel it they're looking at the past oh wow the camera the past the end it's over okay so they're stuck in the past here they just keep reminiscing reminiscing um all outdated thinking okay um conditioning replaying events over and over reminiscing keepsake perception learning from the past trying to make memories they're in despair because of the tribe it's not their tribe these are endings that are happening all right so that's really what's happening here for this karmic now everything that's actioning right now is something in regards to this money that that this masculine's money or his abundance or however he is um, it doesn't have to be money. You can have abundance in other ways. It could be connections, resources, people that he knows, um, you know, his gifts as well, his artistic gifts or as a part of an abundance, however your twin flame connection is. That wealth is coming to a mature woman, which is the divine feminine. I see that as divine feminine in this card. She's mature. She's not a privileged lady. She knows her worth and um, she knows. Um, and this masculine wants to, wants to give. And this, there's, God is dealing with this right now all right um because the, about his money there's definitely money issues sudden wealth that could be coming and the karmic is all green-eyed about that it's definitely about money a house a home that they've created they want it all they don't want anything to come to this mask because they don't want the feminine to get it the divine feminine okay yeah sabotage rebuilding interrogation they're being persistent they're interrogating this masculine here because the masculine is someone likes you romance is blooming transcending obstacles there's an ascension that's happening and they can't handle it clarify their sabotaging things what is the karmic doing to try and sabotage this for the divine masculine because they're oh my god i can't even because look at this because they're stuck in the past photographs they keep looking at the past they're so heartbroken not really it's a break of their ego wake the hell up it's not it wasn't ever love it was never love it was obsession it was an illusion it's not real god's love it never was it never will be get over it you're in pain because you have been deceiving yourself your whole life karmic energy that's your own pain that you created for yourself. Friggin' own up and stop acting like a damn victim, okay? They're moving on because the masculine's moving on because they're a self-absorbed bitch. They're a narcissist that came out again. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. I can feel it. And I know that this masculine sees it and he knows it. I can feel it, okay? So they know that they've stolen. This karmic has stolen um, they're trying to steal something. They're trying to get away with something and it's cr and because they're mentally ill. They're wearing a mask. They're fake ass bitches. Fake. I don't know why nobody likes me. I can just hear that. I don't know why, why this person doesn't like me. I don't know why this always happens to me. You know those people, the poor me's? I don't know why bad shit, bad shit always happens to me. I don't know why. Because it's you. Because it's you. Because you need to own up for your stuff. Okay? You need to get real about what you've done. Because you are a snake. Okay, you are a narcissist with a snake. You are a girl with a narcissist. You're a snake. Sorry about it. And you use chemistry and sex to get what you want and your body. That's how you seduce men. And that's what you've been doing this whole friggin' time. Grow the hell up and learn. Because you know what I'm getting with these karmics? The person they're meant to be with would not be physically attractive to them. And they would just shun that person because this person that they're meant to be with doesn't have money. And they have to be friggin' humbled. The person that they're meant to be with, Spirit is telling me, is not anything that they would ever go towards in their ego because their ego has to pick someone that's good looking or meets their physical stature or meets their um, money stature or anything like that this person that they're with is just like them they're poor they are narcissistic or they're a victim and they sit in their own crap 
and um, they have to realize that that's the energy that you that they're moving into a righteous energy that they will start manifesting what they actually are because this dynamic has broken them open wow let's let's pull some tarot guys this is how this karmic energy is right now yeah that's how they are they know about the they know about the divine feminine they know that the masculine is moving towards them and they are acting up okay they don't want they are trying to hang on they're trying to act like a friggin' angel. It ain't working. They feel stabbed in the back. So there's the poor me attitude right now, right? This love, you lied to me. You lied to me, right? You said that this was forever. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. It's like the valley girl thing is what I get with them because those are fake, right? Like the mean girls, that's what they are. And it's like this love, it's like, they're stabbed, they're, they feel stabbed in the back. Why does the karmic feel stabbed in the back? Why? Why do they feel stabbed in the back? Because they're they're the ones that are stabbing everybody else in the back. They're the evil ones. They're the ones that aren't in alignment. They are the ones that are trying to like create some type of union. Yeah, they feel burdened. Their ways aren't working anymore. Why is that spirit? Why do they feel like it's just so frustrating? They're near the end because the divine feminine... Why are they frustrated with the Divine Feminine stabbing them in the back? Like we stabbed you in the back. I can't even. That's your narcissistic don't want to own up for shit because we're actually powerful. Right? Um, I don't see you doing anything. What are you doing? Nothing. You sit there and collect money. Like, bye. Um, from your, like all the other men that you used in your life and all your child support payments. Bye. Like, we actually work for our money. Thanks. Um, yeah, they can't. They're going around. They don't want to walk away. They are hanging on. And what are they pers doing to pursue the ma divine masculine here? They're, they're trying to put down the divine feminine. They talk bad about the divine feminine. They're trying to manipulate. Yeah, they're trying to use passion towards the divine masculine because they don't want to leave. They don't want to leave. Let's see how the divine masculine is actually responding to this karmic energy right now. Because I feel they're fed up. Yeah, let's do that, Spirit. I want to get that other set of cards here where did those ones go to yeah okay so this is the divine masculine's response to being stabbed in the back so this is the victim oh baby this is this is the drama i'm gonna use my i i got the high school theater award so let's 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 pretend okay um this is the karmic energy oh but you said this love was forever and this she's just hanging on she's manipulating you in the energy i know that she's doing black magic and she's evil and she's toxic and uh this is how the masculine is responding to that you're sabotaging our life you i can't even believe that you're doing this they're trying to lay guilt on this divine masculine right look how much i'm doing for you in our life she's not doing anything so they're praying hard because they're confused they want this path they want the path right so this karmic energy is praying very hard um to get this but this masculine is um yeah yeah they're praying for this so that's the karmic but i want to ask about the masculine so they're praying for this 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 path with the masculine okay these karmic energies are praying um, because of their, their confusion here because they really think they're meant to be with this masculine they're praying they're praying to the mother they're really asking okay please please i want a union with this with this masculine but it's not going to happen so what is the masculine's response to the karmic energies okay i got a little caught up in the drama there guys okay i can't, can't do that too much what is the masculine's response to the karmic partner right now spirit to the karmic energy you tricked your victim for money they see it they see it they're like no bitch you're trying to trick me and look at this i'm either poor or i'm either abundant okay somebody else's loss is somebody else's gain and you're playing victim so this masculine sees that this karmic energy is playing victim they're just they're they're victim they, they play in the victim role and um trying to use passion to persuade them because they don't they will not walk away this masculine has to be strong and just cut it the hell out and these masculines are too soft some of them are way too soft you have to come into the power of destructive destruct destroyer energy because shiva 
and creative force energy masculine destroys before he builds that's the whole point of being in a masculine energy you you break down the foundation before you can build something really authentically aligned to god and if you can't do that well you'll be stuck you'll just be stuck so this masculine energy what is his response to the karmic energy in regards to her being stabbed in the back whoops well he's saying he's actioning a relationship he says you're playing victim okay to gain abundance in this relationship okay we have the lovers with the king of wands he's actioning a brand new beginning and he's going to be victorious in this so i feel like he's already said that i'm going on a new path here and what is this new path here that he wants to be victorious in this new love spirit wow he's standing in his emperor energy and he's pulled back with the hermit look at that the hermit is a single card you got to be alone when you go within so he's pulled back from this this karmic energy she's losing her shit guys um i think there's going to be discovery when they start to divvy up the finances that's why this house thing is happening over here i think she's getting caught with the property or bezeling money or um manipulating other people something in a business swindling money um they yeah they're gonna, they're just sticking around they're gonna fight but this masculine is going within and saying no i'm pulling back my energies i'm going within um because there's a decision here in love that i'm actioning and something new that i want to be successful in and this is a victim type of mentality of abundance and i don't want that and what is the karmic's response to that i feel this is how this reading is going to go and what is this karmic energy's response to the masculine that he's leaving that he's leaving what is the karmic's response she knows that he's leaving if things are moving too fast for this karmic to hang on to anything what is their response to what is their response to the masculine it's failed so they are aware but they're playing their victimhood they're they're playing nice right now oh they're playing nice, but they have massive addictions and massive obsession issues that they haven't healed. They're just going to go to the next, to the next man um, that they can get out of. Watch, you'll be in a relationship pretty damn quick um, because they can't look at themselves. This is real narcissistic energy, and so this um, masculine is um, saying this. He's gone. He's left, and so they see that they can't hang on to this okay they can't hang on to this at all because it's definitely um shifting a lot all right so it's moving too fast for them to hang on to anything this masculine is just taking off and dealing with his stuff so let's take a look here and see about um there is an ending oh ooh, this wind is coming in strong guys i may have to like pause the video in a bit um but they're in despair because they're losing their community, right? This is the uh, death card here. They're, they're, they're living in the past. They're trying to come up with ways to manipulate the masculine out here. And um, just give me a second. I'm going to pause this because there's rain splashing on my face. Should I do that right now? Oh, let's wait a little bit. I can. I don't mind it. It's a kind of cooling. Let's wait. Okay. Because they're they're losing their community. They're losing whatever they have thought that they were building up. Like, it wasn't even your tribe. I can't. It's like they just clung on to the masculine and said that it was their path and it never was their path. It never was. They lied about visions. They lied about dreams. They lied about signs that they were getting and they made it up. It wasn't real. They only saw what they wanted to see because they were so scared to look at themselves and what this energy brought up. So what is this despair with the, with the karmic energy of living in the past and looking at the and things ending right now? They know it's ended in their heart. Good. I'm glad. I like righteous alignment. I don't like bullshit. I don't. I hate it. Don't you guys hate it? Like, I just want pure alignment with God and then let everyone go in their own damn lane. They're in pain. Yeah. So sorry. So sad about it. Be in pain because it's the only way that you cleanse yourself. Only way you cleanse is yourself. No more investment. No more investment in this, not waiting anymore. I ain't got compassion for that. If someone can do their work in this paint, that's where you earn my respect. I ain't got no respect for people that, that are like, oh, I can't look at it. Like I get that you can't look at stuff and you put stuff off, but you don't like make it your life story. You know what I mean? This is like, they're gonna have to discover themselves. So they're gonna have to get on a new path and be curious about a new path that's opening up here and a decision's been made. So there's no turning back here. They know that it's ended. They're trying to, they've put their persona back on. 
that they're the good, they're the beautiful ones, they're the ones, you know, they're trying to move towards their destiny, they're going to heal, but this is spirit bringing in the destiny here, um, and I, and I feel bad for them, like, I, I have compassion in that sense, like, I feel bad for their soul, you know, they invested, they transformed your twin for you, like, you get it, you know, there's unfinished business for this person, their kar the karmic energy to get into, um, their destined path and their healing path there's a, there's unfinished business that they have to deal with that they have to heal what do they have to heal what does this karmic energy have to heal that fell down their courage and their strength they're not strong people you have to have a warrior ass spirit to deal with this kind of energy and i hate to say like and not everyone gets there at a certain point guys i know like 20 years ago you know i wasn't there on feminine energy but you know um <laughs> we all get there i bet these karmics they still have a lot of lifetimes to go before they can even reach a point of divine feminine some of them may come close but i don't i don't see it um not in this lifetime you know there's a new world starting maybe when that new world dies they'll be ready there's still eons for them to go and one more for them not having the the, the courage the strength they're they're just beaten dead now which is good because yeah the challenge is their regrets they don't regret it okay they're between shame, regret, and bad, but they're they're not looking at it because they are narcissistic. Okay, we're gonna take a look at the narcissistic energy. Let's see what's going on for masculine energy towards the karmic. What is his response to the karmic's heart space about? They don't really feel bad. They're like on the fence about feeling bad. They really are. They see again. They don't want to own up for what they did, and they they were manipulating situations and they were lying and stalking and doing black magic and all this shit. And they don't want to admit it because this came up in the challenge position. They're like, oh, uh, they're in pain because they didn't get what they wanted. Not because they were in love. You know what I mean? Like, oh, God, I just want to purge with this energy. Like, seriously, I feel like I need to throw up. Like, when dark energies like this come through, it's like it makes me feel like an ayahuasca ceremony. Like, ugh, it's so toxic. Like, how was our how are the masculines dealing what this kind of toxicity no wonder it transformed them you guys because they're holy men they're holy men you know wow um let's see what's going on with the masculine energy towards the karma i almost feel that they're pretending this is one scenario to stay in the masculine's life their lives are acting like these holy women like these two holy women i can't get over it this is so fake <laughs> so funny they really think that they're this energy. It's really funny. They really put on a good show, let me tell you. And um, they're pretending to stay in this, and it's such narcissistic energy. They're trying to, like, pretend that they're in this energy so that they can still be somewhat in their in the masculine's life. It ain't gonna happen. You're getting kicked out, Carmex. Your, your ass is to the curb. Like, um, bye. <laughs> that will never happen. Um... Yeah, because they want to still somewhat be in this for some whatever reason. Um, almost like reinforcement if it doesn't work out. Because, you know, they're just in it for one thing. And this energy here... Yeah, we'll get into that. So Spirit is just bringing this up. Because let's see how the, the masculine is um, um, going to respond to this. Yeah, again, thank you, Spirit. So I got off track there. They're playing like this because oh, they want to see... Oops... They want to see, yeah, they want a foot in, Spirit is saying. They still want a foot in, so when the masculine does reach out and they're still around, they want a foot in to try and manipulate because then they can do their spell work or whatever else. So make sure, Divine Feminines, that you really put your boundaries up and be like, I want that bitch gone. Like, I'm sorry. Um, you need a clean space with just you and your masculine with no other karmic influences taking away from what you two are learning about your mirrored soul connection it needs to be a clean complete sacred space very much like when we run ayahuasca ceremonies it has to be cleansed and pure so the deep healing can happen and this karmic wants to stick around because they want to manipulate the situation as soon as they can that's what's coming so just be aware of that, all right, uh, Divine Feminine? Let's take a look and see how the masculine is responding to this karmic energy. Hold on for a sec. So let's see where, how this masculine is actually responding to this karmic energy, because they're playing nice. They're, they're in pain. 
and they may say that and they're like I want to come back but I'm healing and I'm going towards my destiny and I understand I honor that you're going to be into this so they may be saying that they thank you that's the message that they may be honoring this union I honor that you're moving and you're elevating and I support you bullshit they don't support you that's another manipulation tactic let's see what's going on with Masco's response to the karmic he's praying for her <laughs> okay he's praying because it's making him feel guilty that's what they do that's what distorted feminine energies do because now that they're saying in certain situations okay um if they look good and allow the masculine to do what they're meant to do because they put up a big fight right now that the masculines are really standing their ground they're like okay i'm blessing your path you can go ahead it's keeping this masculine stuck to the karmic energies they need to recognize that it's another form of manipulation tactic to keep them from actually moving on reverse psychology that's what's happening wow these karmics are smart i'm not gonna lie they're smart and dark ass demon shit yeah that's smart that's smart mind tactic shit yeah that's how you get everything you want in your life you don't manifest you manipulate people manipulating this masculine energy to pray praying to get out of this guilty feeling because he feels really bad because that's what the karmic is doing pretending like there's goddess energy when they're just obsessed and addicted and clinging and saying yes i'm not going to invest i know the decision's been made i want to come back but i'm healing and i know i support you in your twin flame connection oh, fuck. let me like throw up now please what is this masculine's response to this karmic energy praying and feeling guilty about it they need to get over this they feel guilty for breaking down this foundation they feel depressed and sad about it and the karmic will play on that guilt to keep them stuck so the, the masculine has to really get over this guilt before he can move towards the feminine because that is a hole that is a doorway those lower vibrations if this masculine continues to hold the feeling of guilt and shame and feeling sorry for this person that is an in for the karmic energy so divine feminines you have to heal and forgive yourself with anything that you feel bad about as well anything that you are disrupting your own foundation you're healing your own life don't feel guilty for it you can't feel guilty for how other people's feelings um how they respond to you or what they think about you i've had dealt with narcissism my entire life again like i said i have not like there's so much in my life that's why i'm so fine-tuned to it that i know it you know and um when that energy comes up it's like i don't feel empathy for them when they feel like they're acting like they're doing good acts of favors and they're acting like they're these holy people when underneath that it's just pure evil because they don't feel good enough they don't have feelings they they're empty they're empty okay they've been siphoned and this masculine has to let go of this guilt for breaking down the foundation and ending the marriage because if they don't they this karmic is going to get back in here seven of cups in reverse they see it clearly so they are seeing what are they seeing clearly with this karmic energy with the guilt they're seeing very clearly that they have to block this okay i think it's getting out of hand this poor me bull that's happening how is the masculine seeing about the situation of the karmic blessing the twin flames <laughs> he can tell that this divine feminine it's been emotional manipulation with what the karmic's doing but he also feels this divine feminine will not be open to that um if this karmic stays around but they also know that it's emotional manipulation so they're aware of it they're holding strong okay and they've pulled back their energy so they they're still having some guilt but they have to heal that because that is a tactic in how this karmic energy gets into it yeah <laughs> i can't even oh my lord thunder and jesus boy that's some newfie talk for you my ex-husband was newfie so i picked up some stuff but all right so let's take a look they want the money they want the house they don't want this wealth coming any kind of wealth that the masculine has doesn't they don't want to come into divine feminine they know that they're heartbroken because they are narcissistic they wanted the wealth for themselves they're thinking of the past they're trying to sabotage this because they know the masculine has feelings and is trying to ascend here yeah and how is the karmic trying to manipulate the situation from stopping how is the karmic trying to stop the um how is the karmic trying to stop the masculine from moving towards the feminine well the relationship is ended okay so what are they doing ten of cups they know that it's ended for for the ten of cups 
So they're coming out of apathy. They're trying to end their harm, heartbreak. So they're trying to do their own healing work. They're not paying their... They're not... Their sabotage, thank you, Spirit, is pretending that they're in this holy energy. That they're accepting of it. So it makes the masculine feel, maybe I was wrong about this person. <laughs> That's what it is. It's another manipulation tactic. Maybe I was wrong about this person. They've totally given up because they're so you. Wow. They're so used to the karmic energy pulling, right? They're so accustomed to that. Listen to the purification that's happening right now, this rain. They know this tactic that that um, they feel that, wow, this is, a, this is behavior that's not like this karmic energy. And they're okay with the ending of this for my happiness. And they're ending the heartbreak. So it's making, it's making the masculine question things here. Um, so why... How is this a manipulation tactic here for the karmic, please, spirit? How is this a manipulation tactic? See, by not working and focusing on this, it makes the masculine unstable. They're focusing elsewhere on money. Clarify that, spirit. They're going to take them for the money. They're going to hit them where it hurts. That's why they backed off right now. They're going to hit them where it hurts to be single and independent. What about the money situation? I want to pull something else. There's something about the money delay they're still delaying something here from me and being single they're doing it in other ways guys they're manipulating in other ways um yeah this one this one's fair they're doing it in other ways how is this uh whew. let me pause this for a minute i'm gonna just uh close that window Woo! They don't call it the middle of the rainforest for nothing, guys. Rainforest country here. We we are in rainy season. So these karmics are trying to self-love themselves, but I think it's all a show, to be honest. There's, it's not that they don't have any awareness. I'm sure they're trying to do that because they have to move on. But they're also playing it as part of an illusion. Manipulation goes in many crevices. It's not just black and white. So they're playing it up as well to say like, oh, um, I'm okay with that. Go ahead. Go do what you need to do. But they're trying to get it out in other ways. So they're going to take this mask off for what they want through the money now. And by pretending like they're some like princess <laughs> and that they're okay with everything. And it's another form of manipulation. So what else is the karmic doing to try and manipulate this masculine here by pretending that they're okay with everything? Oh, they're trying to um, heal themselves with music and trying to be very dis self-disciplined because they have to try and temper themselves from actioning anything right now because usually they're clingy and running and chasing. And so they have to discipline themselves by chasing this masculine because their tactics aren't working anymore. All their old tactics, not working guys not working anymore and because it's not working anymore um they have to try and come up with other ways so it's kind of like what i've seen with the dynamic forces as well is like they'll watch you and attack and then they'll back off and they'll they'll observe the situation to find where the loopholes are so they tried it with the guilt the masculine was seeing that they're trying it with finances now so what else to, what they're trying to do spirit towards the masculine Well, they know it's a karmic completion. So they're delaying something, though. What are they delaying, spirit? They know it's ended, but they're trying to delay it somehow. There's a procrastination here. They're trying to be creative through their self-love. Exactly what I was saying. They're trying to show that they're enlightened. That they're allowing it to happen. Like, give me a break. I can't. This person's a piece of work. Let me tell you. I want to pull something else. Um, for the karmic energy. Because this is where the heavy energy is right now, is their actions right now. It has to do with property, home, um, letting things slide, let go. Um, with the sudden wealth, there because we have the narcissistic, the golden mirror is here. So this isn't, this isn't in um, truth. This is about money for them now. That nothing else is working. So what is this about the money again? For the karmic towards the masculine, please, spirit. They're acting sweet. They're acting like they're in good faith. But what is it? That they're abandonment issues. They want to be paid out for for their abandonment issues as, as children. 
They want that. Yeah. Serendipitous masculine energy. So there are too many synchronicities that they can't deny this with the masculine that that the abandonment issues have come up again and the four leaf clover they, they're hoping for some type of four leaf clover money aspect they're going round and round they're resting right now okay they're trying to find their blessings so this karmic is backed off in the mean in the meantime okay they're trying to do their healing of this round and round energy but there's something that still doesn't feel right to me because of this narcissism. It might be a resting period right now before the attack again. And it may be that certain a certain cycle has ended. But they're trying to do something with their self-acceptance and their self-love. Okay? They're trying to... Um, They're keeping themselves at bay through music. They're keeping themselves through disciplining themselves to allow this karmic completion to happen. So they're allowing this one cycle of the heart and the emotional realm because the masculine's not taking the emotional realm. But there's definitely something happening in regards to the money. And spirit isn't allowing it to come fully through. But there is something about the money. What is it about the money, spirit? Can you give us one more with the karmic? There's a lot of concern here about the money. She's going to play hard for that money. The masculine may have to give it up, you know, um, because they feel trapped. They want the fortune. They're going to trap him for the money. There's going to be entrapment for the money. So your masculine may come to you with nothing, but that's okay. You're supposed to build on, on, on brand new ground. And it's actually nice if you're both on equal footing. You don't need to have too, you know, uh, too, too much. The universe will open the doors and a flood of abundance will come in. So... This masculine may have to just let it go, to be honest. And that's what he's hanging on to. And this karmic knows it, too. And that's how they're manipulating the situation. How is the masculine responding to all of this money manipulation right now, Spirit, with the karmic energy? As they're acting all sweet and nice and letting everything go. They're holding gratitude right now because they're backing off. <laughs> but they're impartial. So they're still on the fence with this karmic energy. They know that something might be up. So they aren't fully trusting of the situation, okay, these masculines. They know they're getting into perfect alignment to serve here, and they're holding a lot of gratitude right now that this karmic energy is pulling back. Um, but they're still impartial. They're still on the fence, right? Why are they on the fence still with this karmic energy in regards to the money? They see very clearly that a decision's been made here for victory. So they know that they made the two of wands in reverse. They know that they made a decision to win at this, okay? Um, and they're quickly actioning their renewal, okay? And a judgment call in order to completely um, move forward for a renewal here, okay? Um, and so they're grateful right now. But uh, something else is going to happen, guys. We're not out of the woods yet. Something is happening with this karmic energy, and I ain't trusting it. Um, this masculine may start putting his guard down, and when he does, boom, it's going to hit him. This karmic energy is going to try and take him for everything. She already has things in the plan, in the works. He can't move on to a new beginning yet. Why is that spirit? What is this entrapment here? Yeah, there's still something toxic. There's something toxic in an attachment that's happening with the money. Okay, that's causing a lot of drama. He can't move forward yet. Hmm. What is this karmic energy doing, spirit, from keeping this masculine from the Ten of Cups? I'm just trying to dig deeper, but it's like spirit won't let me fully know. They're blocking him somehow. They're blocking him. They're being a snake. They're blocking him from this love. Financially. So they're acting all happy, but they're, take, they're, they're doing it from another angle. All right, guys. I could feel it. I could feel it. I can feel it so hardcore. This masculine may have to cut his losses. Let's take a look. How, what is this masculine going to have to do towards this karmic to move f towards the divine feminine? What is this masculine going to have to do towards the karmic to move towards the divine feminine? He's thinking about the divine feminine and how this pattern keeps going on and on and on. All right? It's keeping him stuck. And with this karmic uh, person... He knows he's going to have to move on to this new path soon. And, and for Go, maybe he's going to have to take a loss of this, okay, is what I'm getting here. Well, those are too many. But this one fell. 
He's going to have to, uh, he's been given the gift of a new path. He may just have to leave and walk away completely because this karmic energy is just really playing it up. I, I can't even. Um, let's take a look here because they're a thief, right? We have the thief and the bad, the bad health. All right? We have the snake using passion, wearing a mask. The snake, the girl with the snake. <laughs> so much narcissistic energy came through. This mask was fully aware of it. With this karmic energy, empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used, boundaries, competition, chaser. This is what this person's really like. Yeah. And if you're watching, you are. Like, call me. Send me an email. I'll tell you where to go. <laughs> I can't even. The guys can feel it so strongly. It's like, I ain't got no time for that. Seriously. What is going on here for the karmic being this narcissistic thief? Yeah, it's very clear who they are now. It's out in the open. So now that's why they're playing in the money realm because their nine of cups is coming to an end. Their material world is coming to an end and they ain't happy. So they're going to use passionately move towards, you know, their defenses. Uh, they want to build on their own and they're going to want the money. They're standing their ground here. What are they standing their ground in this karmic energy? What are they standing their ground in? Yeah, they want their happiness. So they're going to do whatever they can for their own. What is their happiness that they're going to do? They're moving on with self-love because this relationship has ended okay so they are moving on but what are they doing about the money they're manifesting the money from this what are they manifesting the money they're going to keep it stuck until they get what they want okay yep manifesting the money so they can get what they want then they'll move the hell on so they're pretending to move on right now and give themselves love that's the emotional manipulation tactic that they're using. Yes, maybe I'm moving on. Okay, here we go. Now we're in a court battle case and they're going to be using everything. Yeah, they're pretending that they're stopped fighting. That's just, that's just, it's not real. Because what's going to happen when the when the money comes up, Spirit? Well, how are the karmics going to act when the money situation shows up? The wealth, the money, the lifestyle. They ain't going to be at a crossroads. They know exactly what they want. They see it very clearly. What is it that they want? seven of swords they're manipulating they're putting a plan in place to manipulate the masculine out of his money this masculine's got to be very careful with this b-i-t-c-u-n-t -T whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I'm sorry. they're going to keep things from moving forward as much as they possibly can with the money so yes karmic cycles have ended yes it's been very huge it's been the emotional manipulation okay completely halted in its path okay but now it's the financial stuff this is what the karmic wanted the entire time this is how they have played men over and over and over again even having babies with all kinds of different men getting all kinds of child support is what i'm getting getting houses getting money getting property and pretending that oh i was the victim this whole time they may have even tried to get pregnant with your divine masculine some of them may be having a pregnancy scare and may have been trying to put in a child support suit as well and then claimed miscarriage and they never were they never did miscarry because they never you know had the baby and they're making fake form like this is a real charmer let me tell you really playing it up your mask and went through a lot of stuff we need to pray for them guys because this i don't know what this energy is like ew i do i've dealt with it in my life but um it's dark it's really dark what's going on with this masculine's response to this karmic energy now that she's pulled back but knowing that there might be a plan in place in regards to money and the money and the finance is what's coming down to you guys oh my god they're despondent and they're releasing right here okay they're not responding to the karmic energies at all they are releasing it they know that it's completely over see they are expanding and isolating themselves, okay? Um, what about the money situation? I think they're going to let them have it. They're moving towards their joy and destiny. I think this masculine may just cut his losses um, because it's just not worth it with this. And this karmic knows it. So they're acting all happy. Oh, divine union is coming. And what is this masculine's response to the karmic energy? They're stuck. Okay, this masculine is stuck. They're not doing anything with this karmic energy. Yeah, because it's stuck because they want the empress. They want the divine feminine. 
So this divine feminine energy, they want the divine feminine energy. Ooh. This landed over here because they, they're walking away. The Eight of Cups, they're walking away from those karmic energy towards the divine feminine energy. They're ending, uh, things have been revealed that they are no longer planning for the future with this karmic energy. Clear for the Empress. What do they want the Empress? Ha <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. They want to work. Eight of Pentacles. Work on it with the Divine Feminine. And they're manifesting the Divine Feminine, as I clarified that. So, they may cut their losses. What about this uh, financial stuff that's keeping them stuck, Spirit, to the Karmic? And they want, you know, what's happening there? Yeah. They're blocking the Karmic energies, and they're not giving any anything to the karmic emotionally um financially they may just i think they're just going to cut their losses financially um three of cups um that's a reunion celebration that they may just cut cut that um financial yeah ace of swords in reverse they're they're, they're not speaking at all because they've learned their lesson so they may just have to cut it in order to deal with this let's pull a little bit more what's going on with the masculine energy towards the karmic Yeah, they see the clarity and the truth of this situation. Wow. Okay. They see the truth. They see the clarity of this. They may have to cut their losses and lose a lot of money. They're rising above this situation and they're putting an end to it. No second chances, guys. It's over. And the delay is some kind of court stuff for other people and just really trying to gain, you know, their own energies about like, I can't believe that I'm left with like hardly anything. This person took me for a ride. What is going on with the masculine energy towards the karmic? He knows who his soulmate is. Clarify, spirit. What is this masculine towards the karmic? I know who my soulmate is. Look at this. I've been observing you, and I'm following things by the book. Okay, because he's been feeling his divine feminine. Okay, he knows things, following things by the book. And he knows not for you. He knows what's not for him. Okay, give me one more on the soulmate just to prove it to the viewer spirit he's at a fork in the road right now because he's about to come forward with to, towards the soulmate right because he knows what glitters okay he knows that there was a mask here he knows that he's now at a crossroads so he's observing everything and what's not for the masculine here spirit he knows what's not for him so he's imagining his new happy happy beginning all right He's, he knows what is new happy. What is his new happy beginning? Yeah. That he has unfinished business. Okay. Chopped wood, which means that he's cleaning up his present moment. He's opened a new doorway and he's building a new community. He knows who his tribe is with and he has unfinished business. Okay. Um, with him and, and this unfinished business clarify here towards that he's awakened to this connection here, okay, with this unfinished business, that he was seduced out of this, that he's transforming in unconditional love, guys, all right, so that unfinished symphony came up in the first reading, was Twin Flames, and um, yeah, completely knows that where he's moving towards, and so he's just cutting his losses, is what I'm seeing here, he knows it was an addiction, the soulmate, he's talking, conversing more, awaited messages, he wants to message, um, he wants the message and talk and come towards intact, and he knows that the soulmate was like a complete addiction, okay? It could have been a karmic soulmate type of situation. All right, guys, that is the karmic situation this week. Really heavy energies. She's really playing it up, but I think there's no more pull that she has on this masculine, so it's going to be a money deal um, that could be holding things up right now. All right, so much love, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want a reading for yourself. Don't forget to uh, email me down below. All that info is down below. Like, subscribe. I'm sending you guys so much love. Would love to hear your comments about this and how it resonated. Bye.